It'll be the Philadelphia 76ers going up against the Trailblazers. The Trailblazers focused as they walk into the locker room earlier on. Their job is basic tonight. Get a win on their home court. And the game arrival, sponsored by Express. Dress like a... Before we get going, let's hear from David Aldridge out on the sideline. David? Blazers. The players love it. Thank you, David. Now a look at Philadelphia's starting lineup. The talented combo up front, Horford and MB. Then there's Richardson. Then there's Ben Simmons. And it's Thibel in at the shooting guard position. Plenty of games still ahead, Brent. Some discussion about shortening the regular season. What do you think that's going to happen? What's up? I don't think it's going to happen. Would you like to see it happen? I, I like the, there's some, some percolating ideas out there that it might, and the idea of a 70-game season to me, it, it sounds really healthy. It sounds healthy for the players. Healthy is a great word to use. It sounds healthy for the coaching staff. It sounds healthy for the league, and it sounds healthy for the competition that you're going to get. Those 70 games, that can be some elevated play throughout the course of a regular season. That's a great number. And that's up-tempo basketball at its best. So much easier to operate the open court when a steal triggers the break. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the content. And last season for the Blazers, all about bouncing back from their embarrassing first-round sweep at the hands of the Pelicans. Well, that was definitely a motivator, and I think they put that to bed, wanted to focus on being the best team that they could be towards the end of last season. And that Nurkic injury really took some wind out of their sails, but they continued to compete and still made noise in the postseason. And it's Lillard missing. For Philadelphia, they've gone 50% from the field to this point. Four of eight. Horford. And he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. Horford's got his second basket of the game. Well, his versatility makes you consider Al Horford as one of the game's best bigs. Finish through contact like he does there. Three-pointer Lillard tracks in the tray. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. Richardson outside to the left wing. Embiid against Nurkic. On pass, Embiid. Down to five on the shot clock. Fibel, the pass to Horford. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. Portland's drawn a meager one of six from three-point land since we got started tonight. Lasagna's shot is off. 76ers trailing. And here they go. Richardson gets a wide-open look. The shot's good on the assist by Horford. Such a solid and unique big man in today's game. Horford's passing skills and ability to find the open teammate is very special. Here's McCollum. Takes the elbow jumper and trains it. McCollum's got seven points in the game. And we'll see if they can finally hold on to a lead. It's been back and forth all night. Well, you can tell they really want to increase this lead. They can't keep letting them take it from you. Hezonia finds Lillard. Here's Embiid, and contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Clearly a foul. The 76ers shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. Well, two seasons ago, the Blazers were swept in the first round, and something in the scarring of that kind of outcome has stayed with them, both Terry Stotts and their starting backcourt, to kind of fuel their fire to make the type of strides that they have in the past couple of seasons. And Brent, for the Blazers, the continuity has been part of what's made them so good, and that includes keeping Terry Stotts as their head coach. Yeah, it's interesting to think about Terry Stotts being the fourth longest tenured coach in the league. This will be year eight for him in the Pacific Northwest. But this group is very tight. They've got great chemistry. They run a very unique offensive system. And there's definite buy-in here in Portland behind Terry Stotts. 
just tentative in the paint, lacking a little bit of confidence, allowed the defender to recover and contest that shot. Baysmore misses. Well, the D doesn't seem to be too worried about him from three-point range, and he shows us why still. I expect him to make one of those. A three ball. Portland grabs the miss. They come into this one following a loss to the Thunder. Hey, they, they had their opportunities, but let's face it, they choked from the line. Hard to win that way on the road. And you cannot afford to do that. When you're in an opponent's building, you got to knock down free throws. That cost them. Passes it to Scott. Takes the three and stolen by Lillard. And it's Hood in the corner. Here's the three. Buries the long range jumper. And now a six point Portland lead. It's a way to be ready offensively for the pass. It's pretty clear that Rodney was ready to shoot it once he caught it. It's tipped, but he stays with it. To halt the run. Here's Scott. Good job. Collins inside. Quick off his feet. Good. The pass to Lillard. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Lillard's got seven points. And right now, they're just focused on putting together good possessions. That's exactly how they got the lead. They ended up having multiple possessions in a row with good quality shots. Knocked them down. And game is fully in their control. Good work defensively by Gasol. Give him a little credit. Take some guts to keep shooting if you're struggling this bad. Getting a little bit ugly right now. Good. Gets the bucket. Defensively, they've been a step slow here to start. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. To the middle. Here's Scott. And the layup fall. Yeah, another nice bucket down low. They've really been able to work the ball into the post effectively here so far. Scott against Lillard. Hood for three. And it's good. Assisting on the play was Lillard. Lillard's got three assists now in this one. Outside, Scott, plenty of space, and he knocks down the jumper. Scott's got his second bucket tonight. 144 left in the first quarter. Now, here's Lillard, tight defense on him. Over in the corner, Gasol to the paint. Here's Hood. Again, the trail goes for score. He doesn't look satisfied with the lead right now. He wants more, and he looks like he's going to get it. And so it's Burke who brings up the ball for the Philadelphia 76ers. 11-point game. Back to Scott. Six on the shot clock. From outside the arc. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Well, for Tobias Harris to take this step, getting away from scoring and finding teammates to become a more adept passer. It's good sign. Fires from 14. No good. That's the first shot from the floor. He's missed. Five for six. Rejected by Gasol. Got to respect the reach and length of Pau Gasol. Outstanding job of skying up for that rejection. Lillard scanning the floor. That one, no good. And the 76ers go the other way with it. Five seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Back to Burke. The 76ers need to get off a shot. And it's going to be a 24-second shot clock violation. They turn it over. new group here for Portland. 
Yusuf Nurkic, he's checked in for Gasol. Hassan Whiteside comes in for Zach Collins. Mario Hizonia is checked in for Kent Bazemore. And it's C.J. McCollum in for Hood. Rebound by Nurkic. Nurkic has got his fourth rebound in this one. And last season, a rare 5x5 five five game achieved by Yusuf Nurkic. 24 points, 23 rebounds, 7 assists, 5 steals, Greg, and 5 blocks in a game against the Kings. And how about the only player ever to log a 20, 25, and 5 game? The Bosnian beast making a name for himself. Tearing up in the backcourt, Lillard and McCullough. Nurkic is out there with Whiteside, and it's Hezonia in at the three, the small forward. That's the group in the game for the Trailblazers. Lillard fires away from way outside. Portland again missing. Things are going south right now. This is not the type of shooting that his teammates expect from him. From the sideline, let's catch up with Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Well, Kevin, tampering is a touchy subject, but it's a word we're hearing more often. Teams want to retain their star players, but they know that there's always talk during a season. Now, teams can only express interest in a player when he hits free agency. But players can talk amongst each other freely all season. Star players like LeBron James are tied into their front offices. Some people wonder if there's much of a difference between what the player says and what his team is thinking. Kevin? Good point, David. Thank you. Mike Scott's checked in for Al Horford. And here are the Trailblazers now. McCollum outside. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. That's on Ben Simmons. Column showing some offensive persistence there. Awesome at going right at the defense. And then he finds himself at the free throw line. And the Blazers with Damian Lillard and C.J. McCollum. Two 6'3 guards, Brent in the backcourt. Some overlap perhaps in their skill sets. Uh, but do you like their fit? I do like their fit. And by all measurements, Kevin, they seem to be overachieving every year. You have that kind of stability with McCollum and Lillard and what it is that Terry Stotts has done with this ball club uh, that's something that, that the Portland Trailblazers fans uh, are very comfortable with having these two guys out there to lead them just maybe one step further this season in the corner it's Harris the pass to Embiid with the fadeaway and the 76ers tack on two more. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Time called here. The Blazers decide to talk it over. The defensive rules were different when you played Brent. For example, the elimination of the hand check. Hand checking was huge because great defensive guards like a Derek Harper or a Mookie Blaylock could get their forearm on you and basically move you around rather than you mm -hmm. trying to get where you want to go. And the other thing, Kevin, that they did was they didn't allow you to have the, the time in the free throw line. You have a 2.9 before in the league of defense. It used to be a game, really, of two stars on one side right. of the floor operating, and the rest of the guys sort of shoveled up in the corner on the other side. All those things have changed with the way the league has gone. For the better. Oh, I think so. Yeah, yes. Freedom of movement, yes. fluidity of the athletes. Uh, it's definitely a better game in terms of the movement. And MB drops them both. And among NBA bigs, he is known for his ability to deliver at the free throw line. Embiid against Nurkic. And here's McCullum for three. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. This, of course, the first opportunity to play Portland this season. Yeah, and a bit of a revenge game for them as they were swept in the two-game season series from last year. And this, one of the few opponents who really stuck it to them during what was an otherwise excellent season for them. You're right, they've got to have revenge on their minds tonight. Three-pointer, Lillard, and he's good on the three ball. Lillard's got 15. Pretty much uh, poor defensive effort there. You have to get a hand in his face when he's spotting up from distance. 
pass to Embiid. Nurkic with the steal. That's a two from Lillard. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Richardson's got his fourth rebound in this one. Inside, here's Embiid. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Let's take this chance to see which of last season's teams had the most second-chance points in the league. In fourth, the Trailblazers. This was a team that was really savvy when it came to getting position under the boards and then getting those offensive putbacks. Collins checked in for Yusuf Nurkic. Trailblazers trail by five. To the inside, McCollum shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. And that mid-range jump shot discouraged for many players, but not for C.J. McCollum. I love the way that C.J. can just wind his way to spots on the floor and speeds up when he wants to, not when the defense is asking him to. Still trying to calibrate right now because he had one three in the first quarter, but nothing since. 141 left in the first half. Now the feed to Embiid. Yeah, looking up at the scoreboard, guys, that's his third foul, and his coach has to consider now sitting him down. That free throw good from Hood. And drafted by the Jazz in 2014, Rodney Hood seemed to establish himself in Utah. But Brent, as we saw last year, he finished up well with Portland. Well, a great job by Neil O'Shea picking Rodney Hood up and had some big games in the playoffs. He's part of a collaborative at the wing position now for Portland where Terry Stotts can use the likes of Rodney Hood and Kent Bazemore to play a lot of switching defenses and continue to make teams have to guard as Hood's capable of making threes and making plays off the bounce. Oh, just solid on the one-handed slam. And guys, when it's a tight ball game like this, he's the guy they want with the ball. Fifty-five seconds left in the first half of basketball. Down low, stolen by Collins. And now Portland on the break. And McCollum the bucket on the assist by Lillard. Lillard's got his seventh assist in the game. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. And the rejection by Collins. Lillard outside. The three-pointers off the mark. Well, the D really getting away with one there. No one on him. And that's going to be good nine out of ten times. Just two seconds between shot clock and game clock. To the paint. Here's Embiid. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. No question. He got bumped on that shot. And it'll be his fourth time going to the free throw line in the game. And how good has he been at the line? The first one falls. And MB drops them both. And he's given them a good contribution at the line tonight. Getting there a lot and delivering on his opportunities. Now McCollum... And that one released in time, but no good. It's all tied in Portland. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Kevin, thanks. Here with Coach Terry Stotts. Coach. Thanks, David. And we'll be back shortly following halftime to get the third quarter underway. Halfway through this one, plenty of basketball left in a game that's been fair. We got audio. Look now for Portland. Yusuf Nurkic, he's checked in for Gasol. Collins comes in for Hassan Whiteside. And Hood subbed in for Hazania. That one drops. He ties it up. Talent coming from everywhere these days, Brent, including the developmental league. The G League has done a wonderful job of watching players develop there and then 
vaulting him up to the big one. And I think last year, Kevin, the numbers were that more than half the players in the NBA had spent some time in the G League. You want to talk about that league coming impact. a long way? What an impact. Massive. Yes. And what you're seeing, too, over the past few years, Kevin, is people doing a great job of using the G League a lot better. Not just experimenting and lab ratting what that team is about, but really well thought out player development and stints for guys on their team rather than just practicing and traveling and sitting and watching games. You're watching guys go play a, a game in the afternoon and then coming up to the NBA level and participating in an NBA game that night. Well, that's going to go a long way to make guys in the early part of their career take the necessary strides in a lot quicker than they normally would. This two-way contract has been a wonderful addition. Except if you talk to their agents, Kevin. Yes, it's been, it's been very good for the control of an organization to find that kind of talent. Taking a look at the 76ers, Joel Embiid out there with Kyle O'Quinn, then it's Simmons, and it's Bolden in at the three spot. And a wide open look for McCollum, looking to end the run, and foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. And checking out the numbers for C.J. McCollum. Good season for him last year. He was around 21 points per game, four rebounds, and three assists. And very few players in the league can go out and produce like he has. Just a great stretch for him. He keeps playing like this, and you know in arenas, especially at home, when the star player is playing this well, those MVP chants come raining down. Bolden passes to O'Quinn. And too much time in the lane. They get called for the three-second violation. And here's the upcoming schedule for the Trailblazers. On Monday, they'll be playing against Draymond Green and the Golden State Warriors. Then on Thursday, they'll face off against Paul George and the Los Angeles Clippers. And looking at that Nets matchup, you know they're going to want to make a statement in that contest. Taking down the top team in the East could definitely turn some heads. And that's just a pretty looking stroke from the outside by Bazemore there. The perimeter shot now a staple of his game. And Gasol sends it back. And they get it back. To the inside. Hood. That falls. High speed that time for McCullum. Now it's a four-point Portland lead. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball move. Inside. Bolden passes to a Quinn. Some nice ball movement here by the 76 Five on the clock. And here's Harris from the arc. Offensive rebound. Shot to stop the run. Rejected by Gasol. And you know what? He's just not on his game. No doubt about it. Their deficit isn't totally on him, but he has not been an asset for his team. Looking to end his cold spell. And out of bounds as the Trailblazers gain possession. Yeah, that's a tough one, Kev. An experience. seconds left in the game. Hezonia on the wing. Knocks down the three ball. Now that's what you're going to get with Pau Gasol, a tremendous passer who's got his eyes up at all times. So the 76ers win it. A truly gutsy performance away from home. You know, it, it really was. And Kevin, when this one was hanging in the balance late, they showed just what a tough-minded group they can be. Thank you for watching the NBA presented by 2K Sports. We'll see you next time. social media acting like these guys are never going to lose again.
Tell me pretty lies, look me in the face Tell me that you love me, even if it's fake